Last year we had all of that really good cover crop and not enough cattle. And I was out in Deadwood, South Dakota at the Society for Range Management meeting and, and I got to say a few words. And the last thing I said, if there's anybody out here in drought country that needs a home for some cows, I have that home. And a guy came up to me after the meeting and he goes, were you serious? Because we're out of feed. And so when he, when he brought his cattle, uh, he had to truck them 400 miles. So, yeah. yeah, so I don't know if it really worked out for him that well, but it, it sure worked out for us. We got all the manure from 225 cows for almost 90 days and spread that all over our crop fields. And we gave him a reduced rate compared to what we would normally charge. It, it was, yes, it was a lot cheaper than, than a, a, uh, a feedlot rate because we, we wouldn't need a feedlot rate with, with them being out there. We don't have to start up a tractor every morning and, and go out and fill a feeder wagon. Um, they were usually on their own for five days, seven days at a time until we go out there and move their fence. And that was another thing that uh, when we moved the fence, the grounds froze. So we took a cordless drill and, and drilled holes for our little fence posts and, and moved a, a high tensile wire and gave them. Wasn't my idea, I saw it at a conference. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. We don't want to call anything a weed because it's just that you don't have the right, right livestock out there trying to eat it. So nothing is a weed for you, it's all some kind of food for one of your animals to eat. Food for the animals and, and, and it's, you know, it's in the soil. It's, a, it's something growing in the soil and that's what we want to keep.